Whoa, look who's late again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks, Dino. What are you watching? Ah, uh, you know, just another Whoa Wednesday. Are you serious? Wait for me. Whoa! What? Ah, a wardrobe change. <laughs> And whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey there, Grammar Goodies, and welcome to another Whoa Wednesday here at General Grammar. Where tonight, what are we going to talk about, Mr. Goody Grammar? Oh yeah, we're going to talk about the difference between flee and flee. <gasps> they sound the same! Oh! But don't worry, after tonight's lesson, you'll be able to distinguish the differences between them. So, let's go ahead and jump into it with the little basket breaker. Ah. Uh, uh oh. For this week's basket breaker, the question is, what is your favorite getaway location? Where do you want to escape to? Whoa. Go ahead and put your answer into the comments. Here's my answer. I want to get away to Narnia! Ah, Turkish delights! Oh, mystical creatures! So that's my answer, and I can't wait to read yours. But all this thoughts and words about Turkish delights have made me quite parched. So I think it's time that we drink up some Radioactive waste. G -g 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 -g. Three, two, one. For this lesson's essential question, it's what's the difference between flee and flee? And we'll dive into it. So let's go ahead and start with flee. F L E E. What does it mean? Well, flee is a verb, and it means to run away from a place or situation of danger. Oh, so I'm always fleeing from my responsibilities? Absolutely. I'm running away from them. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, I'm back from fleeing the situation. So flee is a verb. It's something that you do. Whoa! But Mr. Goody Grammar, how do I use it in a sentence? Let me go ahead and show you. Example. He had to flee the crime scene in order to hide the evidence. So he had to run away from the crime scene to hide the evidence. Ooh. So that's flee used as a verb. Let's go ahead and look at another example. We had to flee our homes to escape the war. All too real. Oh. In this case, these people had to run away from their homes to escape danger. So that's the meaning of the word flee. Think you got it down? I know you do. So, let's go ahead and practice. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and use flee, F-L-E-E, -E, in an original sentence. Think you could do that? Use flee in an original sentence? I know you can. And then post that baby into the comment section. Get to it! Great job. Let's move on to the next word, flee. F-L-E-A. A flea. 
which is a noun. It's a thing compared to a verb. A flea is a small wingless jumping insect which feeds on the blood of mammals and birds. It sometimes transmits diseases through its bites, including plague. <laughs> Why am I itchy all of a sudden? <sighs> Help me. Anyway, a flea is an insect that attacks different things, sucking its blood. So it's a noun. But how do I use flea in a sentence? Let me go ahead and show you. I have fleas all over my body. Ah, help me, please. So I have the insects that suck blood all over my body. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look how it's used in another example. Here it is used in another example. That flea bit my dog in the eye. Again, you're seeing flea, F-L-E-A, used as a noun, for it is an insect, and it is attacking my dog. <laughs> Sorry, little Sparky. So that's flea. Think you got that down? Absolutely. So let's go ahead and practice. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and use flea, F-L-E-A, in an original sentence, and then post it into the comment section. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to it. Hmm, that was interesting grammar goodies, but I'm still a little confused. So I think it's time that we ask for some employee assistance. Oh, so much grammar. My head's gonna explode. I don't know what to do. I need help. We need some employee assistance. For this section, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to read various sentences. Each sentence will have a blank in it. You need to fill in each blank with either Flea, F-L-E-E, -E, or flea, F-L-E-A. Again, fill in the blank with either flea or flea. Alrighty, let's do it. Question one. I need to blank this city or else they'll capture me. Are you filling this in with flea or flea? Take a second and then put your answer into the comment section. Alrighty, here's the answer. The correct answer is flee, F-L-E-E, -E, to run away. It's a verb. We had to run away from the city or else they would have captured me. <gasps> so, again, this is used as a verb to show an action of running away from danger. Let's go on to question two. We need to quickly blank the wave pool before the waves crush you. Again, the sentence reads, you need to quickly blank the wave pool before the waves crush you. Are we filling this in with flee or flee? Go ahead, take a second, think about it, and then put your answers into the comment section. Answer, grammar goodies. The answer is flee. Once again, the answer is flee. F-L-E-E. -E. You need to quickly run away from the wave pool before the waves crush you. Oh, I just want a relaxing lagoon. What? So 
The correct answer is flee. Let's move on to question three. A blank attacked my cat, and now she is sick. <laughs> Poor mini kitty, why? Are we filling in this blank with flee or flee? Take a second, think about it, and then put your answer into the comment section. All right, here's the answer. The answer is flea, F-L-E-A. The insect attacked my cat and now she is sick. So flea is the correct answer. Well, how did you do? Did you get all three? I know you did. You've mastered this. So I think it's time that we do an aisle check. I'll check. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and use flee and flee in an original sentence. That's right. Use both words in one original sentence and then doo, 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 bah, post it into the comment section. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to it. have to check out. Ooh. Before you go, ha, huh, it's a time you've all been waiting for. It's time for the Grammar Goody Sentence Shoutout of the Week! The Grammar Goody Sentence Shoutout of the Week goes to an individual or individuals that participate in the comment section of any of our videos, whether that be on YouTube, TikTok, or even Instagram. Oh, so many options. Who did the Grammar Goody Sentence Shout Out of the Week go to this week? Hmm, drum roll, please. Brrr. The Grammar Goody Sentence Shout Out of the Week goes to Moth. Moth on TikTok. Whoa. Moth said, I make sure to share your stuff every time I see it. Beautiful work. Ah, shucks. Thanks, Moth. I really appreciate the encouragement. Absolutely, you're a grammar goody for sure. Certified. So thank you so much and enjoy the shout out, Moth. And if you too would like a grammar goody sentence shout out of the week, just like Moth, make sure to participate in the comment section on any of our videos. Whoa! So sadly, it's time for you to fly away, grammar goodies. <laughs> Anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for dropping by General Grammar. And comma in. <laughs> Anytime. I'll see ya. Whoa! Do, 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 do. Whoa! What are you still doing here? Don't you know that the episode is over? What? Okay, okay, I get it. I mean, I, I know you love grammar. So why don't you hit like on this video? In fact, share it and do a little comment. But mainly, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? In fact, if you don't subscribe, you could be pulled into an interdimensional vortex. <gasps> Make sure to subscribe. Remember, general grammar is tons of fun. What are you waiting for? Whoa! Click on another video. Ha! <laughs>